Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh Gorantla and today we are going to discussing about mobile automation testing by using Python. Hi friends, welcome back. And today we are going to discussing about uh, how to set up for Python uh, into your Windows system that we are going to discussing today. Okay. And this is our first uh, script. Like uh, we need to go for open Google Chrome and uh, search for Python download. This is the link you need to click and it will navigate into in this location. That is a website call it is at www.python.org downloader location. You need to click for the first option. It will navigate into in this location. Okay, this is our star, uh, starting version. Uh, 3.11.5 version is a uh, latest version. Okay which is a testing version is right now it is 3.12 version is running right now okay if the testing is done very well and there is no bugs for that then they release for 3.12 okay in 3.11 this is the latest version in case if you want some other versions you need to come here looking for specific releases right in this location you can able to see any uh, stable versions or uh, recently released versions everything it will be presented here you need to choose the based upon your convenient okay and once it is if you click that particular uh, downloader link once you click the downloader link it will navigate into this particular file location and uh, in case once it is navigated if you are not seeing the files don't worry about just a uh, little bit scroll down then maybe you will see it here okay once you see that one and here you can based upon your operating system you need to choose for which is 32 bit or 64 bit version okay in my case it is 64 that's why i'm going to click for this particular uh, link okay once you click the link it will download into your local okay in the download or location go for that particular location double click on that particular exe then you can able to see for this wizard okay uh, this is the installation setup will be started now we done for downloading for that particular exe into our local now that exe into installing into your system okay once you like double click on that it will display this wizard and also this uh, first option right install now it will show you for where exactly it is going and installation okay just uh, click on that particular one and before clicking this you need to uh, remember this particular path okay where exactly it is there and how it is there and all okay based upon that only we can we will uh, go and set up our environment variables okay and then once you click next it is uh, start for execution okay once execution is started it will give you immediately for success message okay and after that you need to open for Uh, C drive users and user and here there is a app data this is by default it is in a hidden value and here there is a view and there is a icon it will be presented uh, hidden items you need to check the checkbox then only it will display otherwise it will not display okay just click that particular uh, app data and first option local okay once it is run local then you need to go for programs okay programs there is a python folder will be there click on that python folder it will be here i have there are two version 3.6 as well as 3.11 both the versions i have because some dependency purpose i downloaded how many pythons you are going to install and set up there is no matter if you want 100 python version need to install into your windows system yes you can no need to bother out when you are working with the project right that moment we can change for the version which version your project need to be work okay there is no complex uh, complexity also it will not come directly we can able to do it okay then open for search box window search and edit system environment variables and click on environment variables and here go to path location and edit and here in the last what you can do right in python 3.311 and double click copy this location okay enter this enter path copy this path and paste it into one on the down location 
okay after that again you need to script is there right the script here also you copy the 10 day script and again paste it in the down again and click on ok ok now installation will be done ok uh, why the scripting is basically means whenever you want to install something or you want to work something indirectly then we can able to means like uh, in the selenium what you can able to say right uh, selenium whenever you open uh, the chrome driver is required right if you are not user for driver manager then we required for uh, exe should be present in the location that exe if you keep it here we can able to easily use without providing for environment uh, variable the system dot uh, we can able to say like uh, property system dot set property without providing that we can able to do it like that okay for that uh, like some of the values we can able to uh, get it from the script level okay and then this is the last step to set up everything and once you've done the setup that's the final one okay and downloading and uh, installing and set up in the environment variable okay and next video session time we'll see for pycham how you can able to add it okay thank you for watching